Uh, hi, Amin. Uh, thanks for having us here. Amin here is uh, the head of product engineering and um, just here to showcase as to what they have about the site stream. So, I mean, tell us a bit more about SiteStream. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, also, thank you for coming to see us here. So what we're showing here is basically replacing a uh, conventional mirror, mm -hmm. uh, exterior mirrors. You can also think about the rear view mirror by camera and display technology. Mm -hmm. Why are we doing this? There's a lot of benefits, a lot of advantages in, in doing this. So number one, of course, the camera and display has become very mature technology mm -hmm. in, uh, in automotive. So it's not a new product, it's ready. But the benefit is the fact that we eliminate a big mass mirror on the outside by something much lower profile where the camera is located outside. Mm -hmm. That leads to basically more aerodynamic driving and vehicle, which means less fuel consumption. And at the end of the day, of course, less CO2 in the environment. So this is one of the positives. Mm -hmm. The other advantage is the visibility enhancement. Mm -hmm. So with the camera large field of view, we're able to have much better view of our surroundings mm -hmm. and we are able to minimize to eliminating the uh, blind spot concerns. Okay. Yeah. Some other advantages are like you can think about if you have to look at your mirror through the window and let's say it's a bad weather where it was snowing like in Michigan or maybe there was frost or fog or uh, developing or building up on the window you have hindered your visibility through the mirror. Exactly. This is completely eliminated by this technology mm -hmm. with the camera and having display mounted inside the cockpit. Okay. So, uh, what, what kind of cameras do you think are being used on this? So we have to use a megapixel, so higher resolution cameras, as well as the higher resolution displays. Mm -hmm. And we, more than a, a million, but we are using even higher pixelation than a, a million. So that technology is readily available as well. Um, when you look at your ADAS portfolio, I think you're building your ADAS portfolio, uh, portfolio quite well. But when you look at the move towards the autonomous vehicles, I know this, this works towards semi-autonomous. So uh, how does this work into your ADAS portfolio? Okay. So we, have, we talked also about safety and maybe active safety standpoint. You can think of uh, nowadays cars are equipped with uh, sensors for blind spot detection where you can have a light displayed on your mirror. You can do this also with the camera. And you are able to add functionalities on the HMI standpoint, maybe object detection, classification, and also detecting if a car is coming at a specific speed and so on. So you are ha having more value added from an ADAS standpoint. Yeah. So uh, what, what uh, you've been here at CES all the last three days, what do you think, uh, what are the key takeaways do you think you should, uh, for, for the public as well as all the automotive uh, Teams. So what will be your key takeaway for CES from this year? So definitely the new technologies in terms of autonomous driving is, is still a big topic and there is more and more progress mm -hmm. and you see more more uh, companies uh, like ourselves showcasing such uh, technology and we'll be talking about the next uh, technology for autopilot. Okay. This technology has uh, been showcased by us and uh, I believe uh, a car maker as well so it's sh showing some traction as well. Okay. So there's uh, quite a bit of interest in this type of technology. Quick one, uh, when is this hitting the market? So because this is a regulated uh, function and product, meaning federally regulated, we have to see changes in the federal regulations in order to implement it. Okay. From a maturity of the products, camera, display, that's already mature technology. We already use it for surround view, rear view camera, so that's already in existence, it's ready. Mm -hmm. Display, we, we have seen displays in a center stack, so the technology is ready. From a regulation standpoint, in Europe actually as uh, early as 2017 you are able to uh, use the technology mm -hmm. because there have been changes in the finalizing changes in the mandate for the uh, countries that follow ECE regulations. Okay. In the US it's not established yet, mm -hmm. but I know there, there are works happening as we speak to make it uh, happen. Okay. Thanks a lot, I mean, yeah. nice talking to you. You're very welcome. Thank, Thank you. you.